Next, we celebrate an individual who has a long and generous history of involvement with the university and the community, Kate Pugh Walters. Kate was one of the first two recipients of the Leadership Award in 1989, and 20 years later, she remains committed to Grand Valley's mission. Kate is also carrying on the legacy of her father, Bob Pugh, who received the Enrichment Award in 1980. I have had the privilege of working very closely with Kate in her role as foundation trustee and also as vice chair of the board of trustees. Her insight, her passion for Grand Valley, and her tenacity are unmatched and a tremendous asset, asset to this university. Let's take a look. Grand Valley is a university that is this community's university. It's interesting that uh, you know Kate is is you know the next generation of a family that's given so much you know to the community. She has continued a family tradition, and I think probably has an improved and enhanced uh, the Pew interest in this community. Well, the Mary Item of Pew Library, we're very excited about. My uh, dad really wanted to do something to memorialize my mom. She never forgets where she came from, and I think West Michigan. Is so, is so important to her and near and dear to her heart. We've got leaders in this community who are not necessarily alums of Grand Valley, uh, who have said, you know, we're, we're Grand Valley, we're all Lakers. Working with Kate is an experience. You never have to guess what she's thinking. She's just Kate. You know, she's very direct, you know, very open. Philanthropy and community work is in her DNA. She's down to earth and, and she is, is, never tries to be anybody other than than Kate. It is just who she is. Kate's interested in access to all sorts of services for everyone. She's the type of person who will say, well, okay, that's a really great institution, but can everybody get in? She's carrying on with that family tradition, you know, the love for public education, higher education. She's a tireless advocate for those who need her and for education of all shapes and sizes. When you evaluate, investing your money in an organization, you want to know that it's money well spent and it's well managed and all of that is true with Grand Valley. She's fallen right into the footsteps of her father and, and her grandfather. Kate stays with it and is very, very committed. Kate is a treasure to our university and to all of West Michigan. I'm a little older. Then I got the award that they used to have for young people. Now I'm getting the award that they give for the older people. Kate, we are honored to welcome you into the Grand Valley State Hall of Fame. Thank you. <laughs> there you go. Okay. Thank you. God bless you. Thank you, Donna. That was uh, very kind words. And Jim and my rest, the rest of my fellow Grand Valley University Foundation trustees, this is a, a great honor. My dad and his friend Patty are here to help me celebrate, as well as many of my friends. As Donna said, almost 30 years ago, my father received this award. My brother Rob is an alum of Grand Valley in the class of 1973, and he was a trustee as well. Many years ago, 
you honored my father and Steelcase by naming the downtown campus after him, the Robert Pugh Campus. And in a few years, my mother will be honored and remembered with the construction of the Mary Item of Pew Library, or as my friends call it, the Mipple. <laughs> this is a history and a legacy that I'm so proud to be a part of. I've been playing tour guide for the last 24 hours to my dad, who hasn't been in Grand Rapids for several years, and his friend Patty, who has never been to Grand Rapids. Knowing that I was going to do this, over the last couple of weeks as I drive around downtown and around the community, I've been looking at things with different eyes, thinking, I gotta remember to show them this. Physically, so many things have changed here. Medical Mile, the Art Museum, the Convention Center, Steelcase. Culturally and politically, we're more diverse than we've ever been, and that's a good thing. But in this big, small town, so much stays the same, and the familiarity brings me comfort. Our West Michigan and our Grand Valley are jewels in the state and in the region. Thank you for supporting Grand Valley, and thank you so much for this honor. <laughs>